Hello. In this video, we're going to see how to stabilize the results of the image facial wrapping node. The helmet on the head of the actor can be very shaky, especially during an extreme performance. So every time we do processing with the image facial wrapping node, we need to stabilize the results. Let's start with loading a neutral mesh here. I'm going to drag and drop the neutral fax expression into the graph editor. Let me turn off the wireframe for the model. Let's also go to the Preferences dialog and turn off the grid. Now let's load the results of the image facial wrapping step. To do that, I'm going to create a Load Vertices node. We're going to load it as a PLY sequence. Let me plug in the neutral mesh. All right, so this is our sequence from the previous step. Now we need to stabilize it. The stabilization is going to align every frame of the sequence with our neutral fax expression. As you may see, the neutral expression is located in the fax space and the performance is located in the camera space. So let's fix it and bring the performance into the blend shape space. To do that, I'm going to use a load transform node. And I'm going to load the transformation file from the fax space to the HMC space. The transformation that we need is the inversion of this transform. So let's have a look from the side and let's switch to the orthographic view. We can see that our performance is not stabilized. It's especially noticeable by the shift of the bridge of the nose. In order to fix it, we can use a guidable head stabilization node. So the first input of the node is going to be our wrap performance. In order for the node to work, you must provide it with a set of perfectly stabilized fax examples. The node will use these examples to stabilize the entire sequence. We have already prepared such a stabilized set of fax expressions. So let me bring it here. Let me adjust the timeline range to the number of fax. So what's very important is to make sure that every expression from our training fax set is stabilized very accurately. The stabilization of the fax expressions in most cases is manual artistic work, but if you don't do this properly, the results of the guidable head stabilization are going to be shaky and it's not going to work great. So please, pay a lot of attention during the fax stabilization step because the rest of the pipeline highly depends on the quality of stabilization. Okay, with this done, we can remove this node. And we can go to Guidable Head Stabilization and set the neutral reference parameter to our neutral mesh. Then we need to select a set of our stabilized fax expressions. The second input of the node is going to be a vertex mask. So let me create a vertex mask node. First, let's set the intensity to 100. And let's turn on the topological symmetry and use geodesic distance options. So, as for this mask, we need to specify which areas of the face are going to be used for stabilization. And obviously, using the neck or the jaw or the ears is not going to help us with good stabilization. What we can rely on is the forehead area. So let's paint a forehead mask. Or 
Also, we can rely on the temples. Make sure to only select areas that are directly visible from the HMC cameras and not to use any areas that are occluded or hidden under the helmet. The second very important area for stabilization is the nose bridge. So let's select the nose bridge as well. With this done, we can plug the vertex mask into the guidable head stabilization node. And now we can click compute. Here we have the results of our stabilization. Let me restore the original frame range on the timeline. Let's also turn on the auto compute option. And here we can see that the stabilization did a pretty good job. Every frame is aligned to the neutral expression. This is different from the original result and the stabilized result. So let's check a few more frames. And we can see that the stabilization is pretty good. Now we need to save our results. First I'm going to use a save vertices node. Let's go ahead and create a new folder and call it Guidable Head Stabilization. Let's set the file name to frame hash 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 dot PLY and click save. Aside from the PLY sequence, we need to save the computed stabilization transforms. To do that, I'm going to use a save transform node. Let's create another folder and call it Guidable Head Stabilization Transforms. I'm going to set the file name to frame hash 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 dot json. Now we can go to the top menu, nodes, and click compute all. Let's set the number of processors to 8 and click Start. It will start computing the entire sequence. This is going to take some time, so let me speed up this video and come back to you when it's complete. Alright, and here you can see the results of our stabilization. We're going to use this result in the further processing steps. That's it for this tutorial, and see you in the next video.